So like Ryan, the coworker, he asked me last night, he says, dude, you got to tell me why you seem to be so dedicated to working. I began by saying that there's a purpose behind my 92 hours a week. I have a severe addiction to the fear of missing out. Here's the thing. Children go through this every single day, which is why so many of them struggle with having to take naps. Research shows it's a need to maintain a social connection. The term is actually called FOMO, FOMO. Low levels of satisfaction is one of the causes, and it does affect moods. And they say that it's increased due 100% to the internet, which is why the head doctors say that the only cure at this time is a disconnection from the internet, which millions have tried to do. You see it all the time on Facebook and on Twitter, and and you kind of laugh about it. They'll say, man, I was gone for 30 to 60 days. Did anybody miss me? I'm back. I've always wanted to be that person that writes and says, no, I, I... Really didn't miss you. Hey, it's Arrow. <laughs> this is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am aware of where we are, and it's fun and fascinating to study what we're doing and try to locate answers on how we can not necessarily correct it, but just to understand it, to document it. In fact, I'm, I'm going to give you a good example before we jump into this. I performed with my granddaughter on stage this, this past Saturday night. It was the first time that we've been on the stage together. And so we had a moment where we talked about, hey, Mia, I was writing in my daily journal while your mom and dad were sharing their wedding vows. I was right there inside that place in my seat writing. I said, would you like to read what I was writing when when they were sharing their vows, becoming man and wife? You should have seen her eyes. This is the Daily Mess. Rivers of thought don't always lead to mountains of emotions. Getting both under control involves awareness and a willingness to correct as you go. Bill, the co-worker, found it in his heart to identify one of my vocal crutches. A vocal crutch in radio is when the talent reverts to or goes back into saying the same thing over and over again, and it becomes a habit. Well, Bill felt like he was crossing the line. Not so. Not so, really. And I kept telling him that. A major tool missing from our vocal society is someone like Bill who says, you got to change the way you're saying things. It's a vocal crutch. And and you're not saying anything new. You're just doing the same thing over and over again. Don't fear the opportunity to be that person that steps up to bust somebody's vocal crutch, but do it in a nice way. And although the world is changing every day and so quickly it is, the words that we're using are not. (sighs) the inflection it might be a little bit different and you might be in a different place when you're communicating but when you're with family and friends and people you've just met it's the same story over and over again we were talking about ryan a little bit earlier ryan asks me the same 20 questions every week over and over again i don't have the guts that coworker bill does to be able to say ryan stop Stop. I'm going to give you the same answer that you got last week at this time. I don't have that, that, that courage to say, you got a vocal crutch going on, and, and, and I, I got a newness you up. Okay, we got to get you into a newer frame of mind. But you're asking the same 20 questions over and over again. I respect the guy. I love the idea that he even wants to have a conversation with me. I'm grateful. Anybody that comes up and wants to have a conversation, I am so into that. Because it's who I am. It's what I do. But you've got to have vocal crutch teachers and mentors. I'd like you to try it sometime. I would like you to go up to somebody who might be saying the same thing over and over again and say, whoa, whoa, come on. Can we get back to having a real conversation where you're not asking me the same question? Or can can you listen to the way you just set yourself up? Oh, oh, man. Okay, just want you to know that that although you just said it like that. We've already heard that 5,000 times before this moment. Sounds mean, doesn't it? But it's not. It's real. We, we are not challenging ourselves to become better speakers. Vocal crutching is very real. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.